Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress Gutenberg tutorial for beginners. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we work with the Gutenberg. And this is our part 2 to understand about the working principle of Brockwise Gutenberg. And I strongly suggest you guys please watch video number 1 and video number 2 to get the understanding about the basic concept of blocks as well as about Gutenberg. Back to admin panel. Now go to post, click on add new. So in the last video we had seen about that is post title, about paragraph tag, about adding image and their properties. Now inside this we are going to see some more blocks that is provided by the Gutenberg and something here. We will use some more blocks and see that how can we add and see its settings. Back to post. So here let's say that this is post number 3. And after pressing tab button, we are directly right here inside this paragraph. So Let's find out about any block so we need to type forward slash and here is the panel list. If we want to let's say about this cover, simply we need to write cover and automatically the pop block will be populated. What I did, get rid of that, I am at our post title. If I press in tab button, actually I am here inside this block. So if I go inside this paragraph, either we can add our block by clicking on this plus icon, either clicking on this plus icon or we have one more option that is in this paragraph tag or paragraph block, tapping forward slash and the block name. Automatically we will get the block populated. Click on this and this is our cover block. By using the cover block actually if we see the document or some guidelines so cover now as we can see here at the right hand side that is add an image or video with a text overlay hyphen that is great for headers it means we can add a custom image or a custom video right means behind our text just like an overlay screen back to post let's select one Im one more image that is from the media library click on media library go here and if i select let's say that this is the image click on select and here as we can see that automatically this image go behind the screen and the text is appearing right about on the image also we can set some text inside this image so let's say that this is all about adding overlay screen now also if we set about the font size of this text so copy this text set it to bold also if we want to set some size here as we can see inside right hand side we have some block settings and this is a simple paragraph tag so we can make the text setting from here also if we want to change about the color click on that apart from these colors we can choose from this custom color all we want to select the color from this range pasting it here and save all these changes so click on publish publish button successfully we have posted our post open into a new tab scroll down and here is the screen behind the text we have added or overlay screen this will contain or this contains an image after that text means after that image we have added a simple text with the background color what we have chosen back to admin panel so successfully we have seen that how can we add or overlay screen by using our cover block. 
Also, let's say that we have selected some wrong image behind the screen. So, also we can edit that. Go to this overlay setting means cover setting. Right here, as we can see a toolbar. And if you hover on this pencil icon, then we are getting a tooltip that is edit media. While clicking on that, we are now on the media upload. So, while selecting any of the image, actually we can choose the correct image for this overlay screen. Now we are going to use another block that is media and text. Let's say that we want that a block should be something like this. Inside this block on the left hand side we have an image and the right hand side we have them some text or either we have some text in the left side position or we have an image at right hand side position. Means we want both media and the text should be appear. So how can we do this? Simply either by using a column setting. So let's see first using by columns. So go here, typing it here and let's say simply columns. And we want two blocks that is one for the image and one for the text. So we have to select these two and in the first we can add an image so let's upload via media click on that selecting here and go inside this image setting set it to medium actually it should not be large let's say medium and why it is not picking actually if i go here image size something medium and automatically let's say thumbnail medium medium is not working that I think that now inside this second column if we click on this block setting click on this plus icon let's say that I'm to add some text so this is second column where we are adding some text values and these texts are dummy content. So if I copy this text, click on this B for bold, update, back to front end, reload this page. And now we have an image and also with some text. This is the output what actually we are accepting. Actually not accepting, this is expecting. So this is all about by using our column block. But also this can be achieved by one more block that is media and text. That would be better. Go here. Now if I type inside this forward slash let's say media and the text or go inside this plus icon and also inside this we can search about this is media and text if I click on that inside this media and text automatically this block skips that that is we can add a media here and also we can add content here Media is like anything that is either image or let's say any video. Click on this media library. Click on any image. Select. First go to this image setting and let's see that. If we click on that. And I think that there is no thumbnail settings for this. Instead we have crop image to fill in the entire column click on that and here we have some means zooming position that what position actually we want this image so let's say here and for the content section click on this dummy copy some content and pasting it here so this is all about adding media as well as adding image so click on update update it reload this page now we have the same 
but this time actually we have added by using media and text block but let's say in some cases actually we want this text should be here and this media at right hand side we want to shuffle their position so how can we achieve go here and simply on this media and text block setting if we click on this media and text block setting here we can see a shuffle position this is show media on right so currently this is selected that is show media on left so click on that this time now media comes on right hand side click on update go here reload this page now the image is now changed from left to right hand side back to admin panel now let's say in some cases actually we have to use a direct HTML code inside this block means inside this Gothenburg we have option to add our custom HTML as well so inside this search for block if I type let's say custom HTML we have a block go here and simply we can write our HTML inside this so let's say that we have our h4 tag custom HTML after that we have our paragraph this is all about dummy content click on this dummy content copy all the things and paste let's say by taking one more paragraph tag now if I click on this preview now this is the preview what we are getting actually the code what we have written so this is all about writing all the HTML code in some cases we have some HTML code so directly we can take it and taking a block of HTML code and pasting all the codes inside that save all these changes by pressing this update button go here reload this page now we have our custom HTML block now in the next video guys we will see that how can we make a block that we have used so far to a reusable block or what basically means about a reusable block inside this Gutenberg we will see all the concept in the next video so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day